Oh, fucking nailed it. Man, this thing runs out of ammo quick. I'll take yours, thank you. Vanguard class Titan and an SRS pilot taking out my IMC support. Hello. Whoever you are. Not bad at all. If you could turn the robots around and shoot their backs, that's quite handy because I think the backs are like a weak spot. Then again, this game's six years old, so you should probably already know that info by now. Where are you? There you are. This way? I think so. <laughs> it's Cooper's little uh, at that that makes me laugh. It reminds me of, um, if anyone watching this Let's Play has seen the movie, um, reminds me of a machine where the two bobs and commentary say just up ahead. they don't say that I'm gonna pause really quick so I can get the quote right they say uh abso fucking literally Bob you can say that again Bob abso fucking literally Bob you know remind me of that missing me already I was not shooting at you that would be in violation of protocol three <laughs> uh, never mind I don't think I remember that dialogue line, but it's a good one. Long time no see, BT. On the contrary, your helmet provided me with a live feed of your actions. You fought well out there, pilot. The controls to deactivate the sludge flower in the next chamber, marking your HUD. Yeah, don't shoot these guys. They're good guys. I mean, they don't help you. They're just like janitors, really. They just clean stuff up. Which helps because we're in a toxic waste facility, but still. IMC security forces. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. All right, scrubs, enough's enough. I'm coming down. Boss them up. Ah, Jesus. Ah, oh. oh, fuck. Sorry, for some reason, my right hand was really hurting. Ugh. I'm good. Shutdown 
pump shutdown sequence at 20%. Oh, these guys. The sludge vaults contain a high concentration of heavy metals. They I forgot about the spider robots. How hard can it be? Just shoot! Blind firing into my pilot's combat zone would be a violation of Protocol 3. Sugar. Don't let too many of us get I'm close to you and they'll blow up because it will kill you instantly. In fact, just don't let them get close to you at all. They're a pain in the arse to deal with. I mean, they die easily, but uh, they're small and fast. Just like that. Why? Why did I do that? That close. I think it's a safe strategy to let them get close and start to explode, then run away when they start to explode. I mean, I might be wrong about that, but... Yeah. They keep on the towers around them. Oh, damn it. That's not what I meant to pick up. Okay, that was good. That was good. Uh. Fails just ah, just ah. Just punch is what I wanted to say, but then I was get shitless by one of the little spiders. Hell yeah. Supporting fire. Danger close. Also love that the sound loadout has um, the location thing. Because BT will use it on his own to help find enemies, which is super helpful. I died once. This way. Which actually is better than the last time I played this part, because it took me four tries last time. So, happy with that. Transferring controls to pilot. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. 
got the BT grudge. Slide. Yeah, we go up. I thought we went down, but now we go up. You were not invited to Kane's party. And that's why you're dead. <laughs> well, well. Another runaway hero. With an SRS Vanguard class Titan. Well, now we're talking. <laughs> Bring it to a night fight. Let's get this party started, scrub. Now this is the first boss of the game, and I know! I know, a game in the midway turns actually had boss battles! Who would think that? Uh... But yeah, this is Kane. Well, this isn't Kane. this is a, a brute. That's Kane. Ken is basically a Call of Duty player who wants you to touch grass. Yeah, hit me! Come on, hit me! King's not afraid of dying. I'm so going to enjoy taking that type of Oh, you lucky son. Also, don't remember it being this easy last time. Kane's helmet radio is still intact. We should retrieve it. enemy communications has a strong history in warfare. This will work to our advantage. In order to survive, we must keep moving. I think Kane took me more than one try last time as well. Anyway, when your link with BT is improving, I managed to kill Kane, a mercenary working for the IMC. Now we're back on track towards the rendezvous point in search of Major Anderson. We're still being hunted, but now that we've got Kane's helmet radio, we can at least eavesdrop on enemy communications. Major Anderson. And if I remember right, sorry to cut you off, BT. I think with every boss you defeat, you actually get to use um like their helmets and stuff to help you progress in the game. So there's actually a point to beating them, and not just overthrowing the uh, IMC. Ready. It could be a shortcut to the rendezvous point. I recommend we proceed. I also like that depending on how you're facing from BT, that will depend how you actually enter him. I mean, board him. That's a better way of phrasing it. What are we doing here, BT? We must proceed through this facility and continue to the rendezvous point with Major Anderson. It is our only chance of survival. What is this place? Accessing files. Unknown. Now this is... yep, you load out. The Scorch. Obviously all about fire! The main weapon is a T203 Thermite Launcher which launches giant burning grenades! A thermal shield, metal on the incoming fire and burns nearby enemies, incendiary trap, fills an area with thermite in, uh, in ignitable gas, a firewall, uh, which does not protect your computer, but it does fire a directed wall of thermite and the flame core. So I like. By the way, I love the fact that each loadout like is not just you know 
this is the name of it. It's something core. Burst core. Salvo core. Flame core. So, yeah. Kind of love it. Anyway, Thermo Shockwave that engulfs the target as long as it's map. And you're goddamn right, I'm going to try and show each of the cores off. And each of the layouts. This is Ash. Go ahead. The gain is not responding. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's got to be headed your way. Kill him. Understood. Ash out. Who's Blisk? He is a war criminal, wanted by the militia, commonly employed by the IMC. Blisk was responsible for the death of my previous pilot, Captain Lastimosa. There we have a bit of foreshadowing. I didn't know that was possible. But yeah, these four should do something we'll see a bit later in the game. That we might even see before I'm done with this play session, honestly. Go firewall. <laughs> I forgot how badass that looked. Oh yeah, I forgot, if you press right on the D-pad, now that I've got multiple loadouts, I can change them at any time. So that's pretty good. I'll stick with the tone of- actually no, I do want to show off what else this can do. Unless it only works against for the Titans. I think I can only charge against the Titans, can't I? Now what? I mean, I'm gonna show it off, I just can't show it off now. I want to! Also, yeah, it's straight I'm not fair being in a Titan fighting against human enemies because you fucking mulch them. White bar is above the um, health of BT. That's basically just the shielding. Once it goes down, that means the health starts going down a little bit. But it can be recovered with the green battery packs, as you just saw there. Ah, oh, there you are. There we go. Also, you can't get hit by your own flames. I don't know why I went through the trouble of demonstrating, but uh, there you go. Militia Titan in sight.
I also like the fact that it tells you what loadout they have to. But there is. Fucking have it, son. Also, I need help. I also forgot that they sometimes drop uh, the batteries. Also, also forgot that you could carry the batteries back to him if uh, if he's too big to get to them. Oh yeah, no, this way. Up. New loadouts. The brute. As a rocket launcher, which launches four rockets at once, or ultimate, ultimate fire, automatic single rockets, has a vortex shield. Uh, so, proof that, like, some abilities do carry over, because the, uh, Expedition has a Vortex as well. Has a Vertical Takeoff Hover, has the Flight Core, which really is basically just the Rocket Barrage by Thor from Overwatch, and Multi-Target Missile System, hold to automatically lock onto many targets at once. Pilot, this Loading Dock's cargo lift offers a shortcut through the facility. Check your HUD for the control panel. Another shortcut? Trust me. Me. Yeah, I think we have to get out of him. You know, all those guys were really good at dying. I was on beak. Good for you, BT. All tight, buddy. Uh, mission: Regroup with Pilot Cooper, Flight Major Anderson, Caution Hazardous Mechanical Environment. Status: Unable to break free from manipulator arm. Initiating attempt. Uh, action: Initiating attempt for thirty-five failed. Status: Unable to break free from manipulator arm. Initiating attempt thirty-six failed. Pilot. Pilot. I need assistance. Looks like the automated security in this place has picked up a Titan. That's going to run. I honestly... I also really love... Right? 
the fact that DT gets his own mission logs in between. It's not just Cooper. Onwards we go. Pilot. Wee if you read me, I'm being taken to this facility substation. Didn't think I was gonna make that. BT, how do I get to you? You must follow the pipes to the lower levels. Warning. <laughs> Bye, BT. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Parkour! 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 I'm pretty sure I bumped my head off that pipe and I didn't die. But you know what? I can That's a good robot, yeah. Just a janitor doing his work. Devotion ramps up the firing rate over time. It's also got a really cool name for a gun. Ah, here. Overqualified for this pitiful assignment. I don't see why we need that bloody simulacrum giving us orders. She doesn't care about the IP. Surprised the grenade only killed one of them. Lisk, this is Ash. I have a Vanguard class Titan. What would you like me to do with it? I don't bloody care. Destroy it. What about its pilot? He is being dealt with. This facility was built to kill. I'm sure I can take advantage of that. If I remember correctly. Ash, that place is not your bloody playground. I'm not paying you to be clever. You scuttle that place. No, we don't. Do, eh? Pilot, I'm being taken down an assembly line. There may be a common exit. I recommend you follow the flow of the platforms. Pilot, this facility is extremely dangerous. Watch for crushing hazards on the assembly line. Okay. We just to let guide you. Also, yeah, try not to get hit by the platforms because it does hurt. To the point of it killing you. Also, just again, very unique and very beautiful level design. I love how it's worked. How they work this into the game. And again, the foreshadowing with the trees, you know? Because we saw them like shifting that early on the factory ones. I don't think I'm supposed to destroy those drones, but uh. There was someone over. Ah, I was right. First of all, how dare you? Secondly, how fucking dare you? Watch out for crushing hazards. No. Aw, oh, damn it. 